Hello, trading is closed on June 19th, 2018. Let's go over my calls. I was looking for lower prices today. I said um, the commonest thing would be a, a gap and a quick move outside of yesterday's range. And I said the ideal situation would be the gap under this low, uh, which is what happened. <clears throat> During the day, MJT said ultimately lower prices would print, but when they did, it said the move wouldn't stick and prices would retrace. It now says the rally is false, prices will and, and prices will retrace. Target is 2755.45. Most likely to print tomorrow. That's my call, but as always, if we gap sharply in the undesired direction, which here is up, might be out of reach. Unless that happens, that should print. Three days straight, we've gapped down and just couldn't hold on to the early lows. Once again, it's a, it's a positive pattern unless we gap and promptly take out these lows. It's even more positive when you recover above the prior lows. What isn't positive is you couldn't take out the middle of the day high. And MJT says the whole thing will retrace. So once again, the commonest thing is we gap outside the day's range. <clears throat> Next most common is we close, it'll change, and least common is neither one of those things happen. I do I think this low is gonna hold. Let's go over the reasons. This is the Fib this is the Fibonacci grid. From the all-time high to this low, as you'll recall, it called the high here within 1.01. .01. Today it called the low within uh, about 27 cents. I think that's pretty good. If you look at this chart in the future and you go right through this low tomorrow, that won't stick out the way it does now. So I think for at least the next few days, that low is going to hold. And uh, the way these Fibonacci things work, if you take this initial drop, and here's your 61.8% retracement, it's a support level in that held. So I think for at least a while, that's going to hold. <clears throat> but let's not forget, we're going to find it hard to go more than one a bar over this line <coughs> of 2763.03. And we think the high of this leg's in. We think we're making purple small b and that we have a ways to go. But that does mean we go down in a straight line. This b of b we have ending right here two days ago. Let's focus in from that high. When you're in a consolidation, you can always relabel it. If this is the B of B, I think it's now possible to count five waves to down. You got excellent Fibonacci grid hits. Here's your 61.8, your 38.2, 88.86. I mean, these are all pretty good hits. Here's six. So I think that's wave one down of some degree. This one, <clears throat> I think it's more likely to be A of some degree rather than two. If we were going to go down and wave round three now, this thing wouldn't stick out. So I think we're still in a consolidation with blue A possibly being over. But in any event, if the count's right, this level just under 2780 should hold. So we have a range here between today's low and this high of 2780-ish where prices should consolidate. Now it wouldn't surprise me if wave two at some point retraced most of this wave one because we have a gap here and if we're in a consolidation, gaps tend to fill. So there could be a rally from here if this Fibonacci support holds. 
just doesn't mean you have to go up or down in a straight line. So for tomorrow, we have a target of 2755.45. That's my call. And there's an expectation that we're going to consolidate between here and here, probably at least a few days and perhaps longer. Uh, <clears throat> that's uh, less positive. I think it's a reasonable game plan. And that's today's call.